What's up guys? Let me show you what we have going on on this job. Basically what we're going to be doing here is ripping out this old brick walkway and replacing it with updated pavers. We're going to be using Teco block pavers and the new walkway I guess it's going to be more of like a front patio area because what we're going to do is we're going to bring it from this outside edge all the way up to the house. We might come out a little further, about eight feet is what we're going to do. And as you can see, this area right here is sunken in pretty good. They have a lot of standing water. That's why the homeowner added this drain pipe. We're going to do two things to fix that. Uh, first thing is we're going to be extending these downspouts. We're going to run some underground pipe to a pop-up out here in the yard. And we're also going to bring the grade up for the new walkway patio area. So this bottom step here is actually going to go away because this is going to end up being close to our final height. So we're going to saw cut that out, excavate this whole area and, and you know, put our base and stuff down as we normally do. If you recognize the job, this is where we did the garage floor. If you didn't see that video, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check that out. But we're going to get rocking and rolling on this. So as you can see, we just snapped our line. This line represents the top of our base. So our three quarter stone is gonna come up to that. And then we have about four and a half inches to the bottom of this siding from the line. We were gonna put one inch of chip stone and then the pavers are about two and a half inches. I think a two and five eighths to be exact. Um, so that puts you at about three and a half and then we'll have about a one inch gap. So the pavers are gonna be about one inch below this siding. So we're getting ready to start laying pavers. As you can see, we got our chip stone screeded out. We went down about, what's that, four sections over to here. I'm gonna start in that corner with the border 
get the main body set out and then uh, work our way this way. Majority of our pavers in, we uh, we ran out of pavers. I, I knew we were going to be close. We kind of changed what we were doing here on the end. So I got to go pick up another layer of the Eva and the Velagio, which is the border. Right now, Corey's getting the edging in. I like to make sure one one key thing when putting this in is making sure it, it's it's lower than the paver. It, it always looks pretty bad. I mean, not bad, but not the greatest if the edging is up level with the paver, especially if it's higher than the paver. So what we do is make sure you scrape out a little bit of stone and you want to be below that, that little spacer edge. And we're going to still compact these, so these are going to settle in a little bit. So they'll probably drop maybe a quarter of an inch, um, but they'll still be higher than the edging. So then when we bring the dirt in here, it should be, should be hitting, hidden or less noticeable. And then we put our spikes in about every foot all the way down.
up by the house, that siding sticks out a little bit. We're probably going to have to tap a lot of those in by hand. I like to go ahead and miss the pavers twice to activate the sand. I go through it once and then hit it again. If you saw, I was doing it on a shower setting, so you don't want the water, you know, any high pressure to actually push the sand out. Kind of want to spray it up high and just let it fall in. Now, we just dumped our topsoil and we're going to get ready to start backfilling these edges here. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap for this one. You see Corey's down there, he's getting the grass seed spread out and then we're going to throw some uh, some straw down and we'll be good to go. Customer was already aware, I mean we did pretty good grading a lot of this out. He might smooth it out a couple more times with the bucket. But he was aware that he was going to have his landscaper needing to do some work. They had a tree removed here um, and then I think a tree removed somewhere over there. And then there was a lot of little bushes and stumps that we pulled out throughout the way. This job actually fought us a little bit with all the roots. And then over here on this side, I didn't include this on this video. We built this, um, he's putting a garden bed in there. So we did this paver edging stone uh, for him. That's gonna be the next video to come up. It'll be a real short video. I'm gonna make that more of like a how-to video for people you know, that wanna know how to install that the right way so they stay straight and they don't end up um, you know, sinking over time and getting all all wonky all over the place but as usual guys thanks for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you're not already that way uh i'm able to give Corey a, a raise for all the hard work he's been doing look at yeah, him <laughs>